Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank you for tuning in, joining Mount Pisgah Independent Methodist Church, where we are changing lives through the power of God's love. This is our third Sunday Bible study. We are a 30-minute prayer where we position ourselves around the altar or position ourselves in our seat to meditate, to let God know our supplications on today. So you can sit wherever you at or you can come to the altar and just cry out to God. Cry out to our Holy Lord, our Holy Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God for you tuning in. We pray God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Most heavenly, righteous, and true and living God. Father, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for our early lying down and our early rising. Father, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for you waking us up, God, within our right mind, within our right soul, within the right spirit of Christ Jesus. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, O oh Lord, for the proceeding, O oh Lord, that you have placed upon us on today, God, the sustaining of our soul, the sustaining of our mind. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, O oh Lord, for preserving of our homes last night, God, while we slept in slumber, God, while you had the angels, O oh Lord, at the doorpost, God, watching over us, God, while we sleep. Lord, we tell you we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we tell you, God, that we give you the honor and glory on this great day that you have already made. Father, we tell you we thank you, God, for the great things, O oh Lord, that you have already about to do for mankind on this marvelous day. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for the great things, O oh Lord, that you have in store for thy holy people. Father, in Christ Jesus' name, Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, O oh Lord, for laying us down in peace and sleep. For we know thou, Lord, is only make us up to dwell within safety. Father, we tell you we thank you, God, for the safety, God, that you have given to us last night. God, we thank you, God, for the safety, God, that you have given to us all week long. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, O oh Lord, for the safety of God, O oh Lord, that keeps us safe and sound and protected. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, oh Lord, for the safety, oh Lord, the ark of safety, God, that you are our ark of safety. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for the great things, oh Lord. We tell you we give you the praise, glory, and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we tell you, God, that we give you the praise, God, the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, oh Lord, for the covering of our hearts, God. We thank you God for the purifying of our hearts the purifying of our souls Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God oh Lord for the preserving of our souls the preserving of our souls and our spirit Lord we tell you we thank you God God you kept us all week God you kept us all year long God you kept us last year God through every pandemic God the COVID-19 God you have protected us God God it wasn't man God it wasn't the vaccine God but it was you God and Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God oh Lord for everything God every trial and every tribulation God that you have brought us to God we know God that we will be blessed and do until the end God Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God oh Lord for the great things God God that you have already given to mankind on today woman God we tell you we thank you we thank you, God, for life, health, and strength, God. We thank you, God, for you being that strengthener, God, when we are weak, God. God, we know, God, that you are that strengthener, God, that we need, God. God, we thank you, God, oh, Lord, for you being, God, that high tower that we run into, and we know that we are safe. We tell you, we thank you, God, God, for you being, God, that God that we can reach to, God, and grab hold of to, God, oh, Lord, and speak unto the Lord, and you hear the fervent prayers of the righteous, God, because we know, God, and you know, God, that they avail of much. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for being able to cry until you early in the wee hours, late in the days. God, Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for you hearing our voice, hearing our supplications, God, hearing the needs, the desires that we are calling unto you, O oh Lord. For Father, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for you, oh God, that answer prayers. We thank you, God, for you being the God that hear, hear the voices of thy people. Lord, we tell you we thank you. Lord, we tell you we thank you, God, oh, Lord, for the great things, God, that you've given to us, God. Oh, Lord, the indwelling Holy Spirit of Christ Jesus that dwells with inside us, God. Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for Christ Jesus' spirit that dwells within us. Christ Jesus' spirit that quickens our mortal bodies. Christ Jesus' spirit that ministers unto our souls. Lord, we tell you we thank you. 
ye are Christ and Christ is God's and Lord we tell you we thank you for being able to be belonger to Christ Jesus we thank you God for being able to be partaker with Christ Jesus we thank you God for Christ Jesus spirit Christ Jesus our savior our Lord our redeemer our healer the prince of peace God the counsel of our salvation Lord we tell you we thank you God for Christ Jesus of Nazareth Lord we tell you we thank you God for him coming to this earth God to be here 33 and a half years God God to be able to minister the holy word God being able to heal and deliver God touching God thy people Lord we tell you we thank you Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God, for Christ Jesus, our loving Savior, our mighty Savior. Oh, Lord, the excellent Lord. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. He is our Lord. Christ Jesus is our Lord. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Jesus. We thank you, righteous God. We thank you, God, Prince of Peace. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, mighty Savior. We thank you, God, for everything, God, that you have given to us, God. Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for being able to be the light of this world, the light in this dark world, the light, oh, Lord, that shines through these clay containers. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for being able to be that light in darkness, God. We, be, we thank you, God, for being that light, that being able to minister to someone that is living in darkness. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for this great gathering on today, God. We thank you, God, for this gathering, God, that souls can come together, being able to cry unto you, O oh Lord, being able to just get on one accord, being able to just speak unto our Holy Savior. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, everlasting God, mighty God. Lord, we tell you, God, that we give you the glory, honor, and praise in the name of Jesus, most heavenly, kind, and true and living God. Father, we bless you for today's day of life, God. We bless you, God, for being able to come in here, God. Being able to get on bending knees, God. Being able to just get in the presence of you, God. Being able to just feel, God, your power. Feel your authority. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the great things, oh, Lord, that you've already ministered with to us on today, God. We thank you, God, for your voice, God. We thank you, God, for your word, oh, Lord. We thank you, God, for you coming down in the volume of the book. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for this very moment, this very Every hour, this very second, God, that we can speak unto you, God, cry unto you, O oh Lord, speak unto you, O oh Lord, the more and more, God, that, that you will hear our voice, God, God, that you hear the groaning and moaning within our spirit. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, O oh Lord, for everything, O oh Lord, that we overcome, God, and overcame, God, with the help of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit that overrules and overrides flesh, God. God, we know, God, that we are in this flesh, in the flesh war against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh but lord we tell you we thank you god for the spirit of christ jesus oh lord that is the dweller within us god oh lord that lifts up a standard when the enemy comes in like a flood lord we tell you we thank you we thank you god for your spirit god your spirit that overrules and overrides god the things that the enemy tries to place within our mind place within our heart place with you oh lord within our clay container within this mouth this mouth this tongue lord we tell you we thank you we thank you god for being able to perceive the word of god that we'll be able to speak the word of god oh lord and call those things as though they're not as though they were lord, lord we won't think negative god we won't think of hatred god we won't think of evilness god god we won't think of a hatred heart of, of a heart oh lord that is filled with anger lord we won't think of that god because we know god that the spirit of christ jesus that dwells within us god that it will lift up a standard that it it will stand up for us, God. That it will come in, God. God, that it will come into us, God, oh Lord, and make the enemy back up and behave. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the great things, God, that you have already given to us, God. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Word. God, we tell you, we thank you. Hey, God, we tell you, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, everlasting God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the pure in heart, God. We thank you, God, for being able to be purified and refreshed, God, and revive and restored and refill, being able to be refilled by your spirit, being able to be restored by your spirit, being able to be restored by your word. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. 
We thank you, everlasting God. We tell you, God, that we thank you, God, for the eternal things, the things, oh, Lord, that is to come, God, the things that won't end, God, which is the Holy Spirit, which is your word, God, which is everlasting life, which is eternal. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for being able to be humbled on today, God, humbled within your presence, humbled within the spiritual realm. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for being able to have a mind to pray, God. Having a desire to pray. Having a mind to say, Lord, I got to get to the storehouse because there is something there that I need on today. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the drive, God, to be able to get here. A drive to live in holiness. A drive, God, to live to the sadness of your word. A drive to fasting. A drive to pray. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for having a drive, God, to seek in your voice. Having a drive, God, to being able to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for being able to go full force, going ahead, God, being able to do, God, your will and your will only, God. God, we know, God, that we have to work, God, and we have to pay bills, God, because you said if a man don't work, he don't eat. But, Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God, for the drive, God, to be able to just get here. Get here. Get at the feet of Jesus. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, Prince of Priests. We tell you, we thank you, Holy God, Righteous God. We tell you, we love you, Lord. We thank you, everlasting God. Father, in Christ Jesus' name, Lord, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for every heart on today, God. We thank you, God, for every mind that was made up, God, to get here, God. Father, we pray, God, that you would touch them right now, God. God, if they're needing healing, God, if they're needing deliverance, God, if they're needing a breakthrough within their marriage, a breakthrough on the job, a breakthrough within their homes, a breakthrough when it comes to their kids, Lord, we pray, God, that you will answer them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God for being able to hear God hear God your voice God God when it comes to the things oh Lord that pertaining to our daily lives within our homes pertaining to, pertaining to our family Lord we tell you we thank you touch every heart today God purify every heart on today God if they came in here God with any hidden agenda God if they came in here God way way down oh God with burdens God uplift that burden God free them God from the weight that they, that they're carrying around God release that weight off of them now God release God that thing down oh Lord that is having them weighed down and is having them tired within the spiritual realm within the natural body Lord release that wait now oh God release it right now in the name of Jesus touch them right now God God let your spirit God reign on them right now God God uplift them right now in the name of Jesus touch them holy God God press upon their hearts God press upon their hearts God in the name of Jesus you said blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God purify our hearts on today God purify that man hard on today God purify that woman hard on today God that they will be pure and hard and fervently God oh Lord uplift them right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God let the peace of God reign within their lives on today God let the peace of God sustain them on today God let the peace of God rule within them God God ease that trouble out of the way God ease that very thing oh Lord that is having them hindered God in their walk, in their stance of holiness, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We give you, give you the glory, honor, and praise, holy God, everlasting God. Father, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, holy Jesus. We thank you, God, for this tabernacle, God, Mount Pisgah Independent Methodist Church. Lord, we thank you, God, for every soul that is tied to this ministry, God. We pray, God, that you would touch every soul that is tied to this ministry, God. Oh, Lord, from the young kids to the older adults, Lord, we pray, God, that you would touch them, God. God, we pray, God, oh, Lord, that the love will grow, God. God, that the love will grow within this ministry, God. God, that we will continue, God, to be strong, God, being able to bounce back, God, being able to overcome, God, being able to be resilient, God. 
when it comes to standing for the kingdom of God. God, we speak right now, God, a bounce back spirit within this ministry. We speak a strong ministry, God. We speak, God, that there be no more wavering minds, God, but a strong mind. We speak, God, that there will be no more weak vessels, God, but strong vessels for the kingdom of God. Father, we tell you, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Let your strength, God, come to this body of Christ, God. Let your strength come, God, and heal and deliver. Let your strength come, God, and rain and rush through here like a mighty wind, like mighty waves. Oh, Lord, that's in the sea, God. Move through this place right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, uplift this body of Christ, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we tell you we thank you. We thank you, God, for the great man of God, oh, Lord, the under shepherd of this house, God. God, we tell you, we thank you, God, for this, that vessel, God. We thank you, God, oh, Lord, for being able to consecrate him the more and more, God, that he will fast and pray, God. God, that he will continue, God, to hear your voice, God, that he will continue, God, to preach the undoctorated word of God. Father, we pray, God, that you will continue, God, to bless him, God. Bless him and his family, God, and his wife and his kids, God. God, that you're sustaining, whoo, you sustaining your sustaining spirit God your sustaining strength your sustaining protection God will continue God to reign over them God in the name of Jesus we speak life upon them God we speak years added on to their lives God because you said for by me thy day shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased God multiply God the days multiply the blessings multiply the strength multiply the very thing that they're needy in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. God, we speak, God, oh Lord, a surpassing God, a surpassing God upon their lives, God, in the name of Jesus. Protection, God. God, let your holy armor be amongst them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We give you the praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God. God, touch every young vessel on here tonight, God. Touch every child, God, oh, Lord, from the age of 15 and on down, 20 and on down. God, those, oh, Lord, that are not at accountability, to God, to know what's wrong and what's right, what's seeing and what's not seeing. Mm. Lord, we pray, God, that you would touch them on today, God. We pray, God, oh, Lord, that the parents, God, God, the moms, daddies, uncles, God, God, daddies, God, mamas, God, oh, God, the uncles and aunties will raise them up in the ammunition of the Lord and teach them the word of God. We'll teach them about Jesus. We'll teach them about our one Lord, our one Savior. Lord, we tell you we thank you right now, God, oh, Lord, that you will let your word sustain their hearts on today, God, that you will let let your word purify their hearts on today, God. God, we speak of elders and, and missionaries and evangelists, God, and ministers of the gospel. God, we speak over their lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch them right now, God. Touch them, Jesus. Touch them, God, right now, God. God, go through their homes, God. God, dwell within their rooms, God. Dwell within their bedrooms, God. Dwell with them, God, when they're going to school, when they're on the bus, God. Dwell with them, God, that they will have that protection that they're needing, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we tell you we thank you. And we give you the praise and glory. God, we tell you we love you, Lord, on today, God. God, we thank you, God, for the very things, oh, Lord, that you have given to mankind on today. Lord, we tell you we thank you. Yes, God, we love you, Lord, holy God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we tell you we love you, Jesus. Lord, we love you, go, Lord. We praise you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, God, that your spirit, God, will continue, God, to rule and abide within this tabernacle, God, in every lives, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, keep the saved, saved. God. Oh, Lord, those that are unsaved, God, we pray, God, that they will have a mind to live saved, God. God, we pray, God, oh, Lord, for the saints of God to continue, God, to have a spirit of boldness when it comes to the kingdom of God, when it comes to witnessing, when it comes just to, to flowing from this clay container, God. Oh, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation in my heart be acceptable when it comes to ministering, when it comes to speaking of your word, when it comes, God, oh, Lord, to just 
raining, God, the very things that God has for us to say. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. And we pray, God, for every soul right now, God, that don't know you, God. Those that don't have the spirit of Christ Jesus. Father, we pray, God, that they will have a mind, God, to live holy. We pray, God, that they will have a mind to put the cigarettes down. We pray, God, that they will have a mind, God, to put the alcohol down. We pray, God, that they will have a mind to quit lusting and quit fornicating. We pray, God, that they will have a mind, God, God, to come out of the world, God, and come, come to you, God, that broken heart and that contrite spirit God because we know God that you will save him such God God if you saved us God if you saved me if you saved the pastor God you can save that soul that very soul that very lost soul God we speak God that they will be found in the name of Jesus we speak, God, that they'll be found in the name of Jesus. We speak right now, God, oh, Lord, souls being saved, souls being delivered, souls being healed, souls being washed in the blood, souls being baptized in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now, God, that you would change them right now. In the name of Jesus, this is the year of a turning. Woo. Woo. This is a year of a turning for the saints. This is a year of a turning for that soul that is lost. God, continue, God, to turn the saints, God, in the right direction. God, continue, God, to turn the saints, God, that they will continue, God, to know what to do, God. They, they will know, God, what to stay away from. They will know what to hear and what not to hear. This is the turning. God, this is the year of attorney for the saints of God. And Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for you turning, God, that bad situation, oh Lord, into a good situation, God. What the enemy meant for the evil, God, we know that you meant it for the good. And Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God, as you turn, God, that person, God, that is living in sin, that you would turn them, God, to come to you, God, that you would turn them to come, God, to you, God. Oh, Lord, with that heavy heart and that laden spirit. God, we pray, God, that they will come right now in the name of Jesus. They will come surrendering. They will come yield. They will come bowing down to your presence. They will come bowing down to the feet of Jesus. Woo. Lord, we tell you, we thank you right now, God, for that very soul, oh Lord, that has changed their mind right now in the name of Jesus. We speak it in the atmosphere. We speak it upon this land, God. We speak it, God, that you will save them today, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God of heaven, Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We give you the praise, God. Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God, for the very things, oh Lord, that you pertain to us on today, God. Whew, we thank you, God, for your word, God. Whew, your word, God, that upkeeps us, God. Your word, God, oh, Lord, that uplifts us. Your word, oh, Lord, that fills us and feeds us, God, when we're on our fast, when we're on our consecration. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for your word, God. Oh, Lord, your word, your word, God, that changes us, God. Your word that is an everlasting word, God. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. Whew, we tell you, we give you the praise, glory, and honor, God. In the name of Jesus, sanctify through thy truth. Thy word is true. And we thank you, God, for your word being true within our lives. Your word being true, God, within our homes. Your word being true, God. Oh, Lord, that every man is a liar. But your word is true, God. When you speak it is truth God and Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God for your word that sanctified our soul we thank you God for your word oh Lord that speaks of Christ Jesus speaks of the gospel speaks oh Lord of the very things that he did God when he was here Lord we tell you we thank you we thank you God for being able to be sanctified set apart chosen God oh Lord from this world God being able to have a consecrated service unto God which is our reasonable service and we tell you we thank you God for the reason reasonable service the reasonable mind lord we tell you we thank you we thank you god oh lord for the great things right now in the name of jesus that your word will continue god to uplift us god when we are down god when we are feeling down within the spiritual real when we are feeling down within our finances when we are feeling down when it comes to healing when it comes to being restored lord we tell you we thank you god for your word, God, oh Lord, that will uplift us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God. We thank you, everlasting God, Prince of Peace, God, the Holy God, the Righteous God. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. 
In the name of Jesus, thy word is very pure. Therefore, thy servant loveth it. Your word is pure, God. Your word is rich, God. Your word, God, oh, Lord, is rich. Woo! Your word is rich, God, when we are reading it, God. Your word is rich, God, when we speak it, God. Your word is rich, God. And we tell you, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we tell you, we thank you, God. Oh, Lord, for your word, God. Oh, Lord, your word that I love to read. Your word that we love to read, God. I rejoice. Rejoice at thy word, that one that find a great spoil. And we rejoice at your word. We rejoice at the things of Christ Jesus. We rejoice at your spirit. We rejoice, God, when your presence comes in, God. Oh, Lord, and touch us, God, and uplift us. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the very things of God. Lord, we tell you, we love you, and we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we tell you, we love you. We magnify you. We exalt you, God. Lord, I tell you that I love you, God. Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for the souls that came, God, on today, God. Touch them, God. Hear their supplications, God. Hear the very needs that they're needing within their walk, God, in their homes, God, on their jobs, God. Give them their needs in the name of Jesus. We ask in the name of Jesus that you will hear thy servant prayer, that you will hear the very words that comes, God, from this clay container. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. We love you, holy Jesus, everlasting God. Father, in Christ Jesus' name, Lord, we tell you, we praise you right now, God. Touch all the older saints, God. Those that can't come out, those that, that, that need a little help, God, oh, Lord, within their lives, God. We pray, God, that you would touch them, God. Heal the broken and hearted and bind up their wounds, God. Oh, Lord, heal their wounds, God. Give them that strength that they're needing, God. Give them that desire, God, to continue, God, to, to live holy, God. Give them, God, the very things that they're needing right now in their lives, God. Oh, Lord, to heal their bones, God. <laughs> Fix them up, God. <laughs> Give them that strength, God. Give them that healing that they're needing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we tell you, we thank you right now, God, for you touching them, God. Oh, Lord, that this time right now, God, that they will be touched by the mighty name of Jesus. That they will feel a warmness right now within their body. They will feel a warmness right now through their bones. God, through their sickness in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I hear you, God. Touch, God, that person, God, that's dealing with kidney disease, God. Touch that person. God that, that is dealing God with kidney problems touch them right now in the name of Jesus we speak God that the kidneys God will function right now in the name of Jesus let them operate the way you perform them let them operate the way God that you want them that you made them to perform in the name of Jesus touch that person God that is dealing with anxiety God touch that person God that need to take Xanax God they don't need to take Xanax God they need to take of your word they need to take of your spirit they need to take of fasting and praying touch that person God that is dealing with anxiety depression God oh Lord touch them in the name of Jesus we speak God oh Lord of a sustaining mind God we speak of an uplifting mind God you said so is a man thinking so is he God we thank God of health God we think of a healing we thank God oh Lord of proceeding for the very things of God we thank God that we are healed they think Thank God that they are delivered. They thank God that they are free. They will be free in the name of Jesus. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. Thank you, God, for a mind, God, to be able to say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the very things that you've given to us. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. And I thank God, oh Lord, of the great things that you have brought us through and taken us through. Lord, we tell you, we thank you. Thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, oh Lord, for a mind to be able to pray, God. Lord, we tell you we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we uplift you, God. We praise you, God, and we magnify you, and we give you all the glory. I will lift up my hands, God. We will lift up our hands, God. Our praise will continue to be to praise you to praise your word, to praise Christ Jesus. Lord, when you are standing up, God,
when we are raising you up, God. Woo! God, we feel a raise within the spiritual realm of our own selves, God. Lord, continue, God, to stand mighty that you are, God, as you continue, God, to look from the heavens, God, because you said earth is your footstool and heaven is your throne. And, Lord, as we at the footstool of you now, as you sit on your throne, God, heal the hearts on today, God. Heal the minds. Uplift those, oh, Lord, that are needing to be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Lord, we tell you, we thank you right now, God. God, we wave at you right now, God, that you would touch us right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord God of heaven, Lord, we tell you, we praise you. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Have it all. Have it all. Have it all. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise, God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Lord, we tell you, we thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, saints, can we clap our hands and tell Christ Jesus that we praise him for the great day that he has already given to us? Yes, we thank God for the power of prayer. We thank God for the very things that he has brought us through within this last year, in this year that we are already in, this new season. We thank God for this very time to be able to commune with him, being able to just hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. I thank God, oh Lord, for the great things that he has blessed us with, every soul that came out on today. We thank God for you not counting it robbery to come out, but to just come in and, and just hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. We pray that you will be uplifted on today. We pray that your mind will be kept. We pray, God, that you will pray that you won't be unbothered, unmovable, and unbreakable in the name of Jesus. Anybody have a song they want to sing? Yes, sir. Brother Fraser. Yes, sir. Good morning, church. I love to praise him. I love to pray. I love to praise him. I love to praise him. Oh, 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 oh. I say I love to praise him. I love to praise him. I love to praise him. Oh. The he's my rock. Oh, he's a wheel in the middle of the week. I know he'll never, I know he'll never, never let me. He's just a jewel, he's just Jude that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his Oh, I love to pray to holy oh, that he's my rock, my rock, my swollen shield, oh, he's a wheel, so wheel, 
in the middle of I know he'll never, I know he'll never, never let. He's just a jewel, he's just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise him. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise him. Oh, oh, oh. I love to praise him. Oh, oh, oh. In the morning, church. In the evening, church. On my job, church. In my home church, in my car church, in the church church, I just love it. I just love it. I just love him. I love to praise his holy name. Give yourself a hand clap and just thank him. Thank you, Jesus. I love to praise him. I love to praise the Lord. I love to lift my hands when I'm going through. I love to praise the Lord when I'm coming out, when I'm going in, when my days are bad, when my days are rough. I love to praise him. I love to praise Christ Jesus who is wonderful and marvelous within our lives and in, in, in our homes, on our jobs, in the cars, you know, in our yard. We have to love to praise him because we know it was him that brought us through. We know it was him that keeps protecting us. We know it was him that keeps adding years to our life. We know it was him. So we had to continue to praise the name of our Lord in Christ Jesus. We thank God for Brother Frazier for that marvelous song, a glorious song, a, a, a song uh, of thankful. You know, the Bible said give thanks in all things. So we, we love to give God the thanks that's due unto his name. We will have a scripture by uh, Sister James. Good morning, church. I'm going to be reading Psalms 139, 8 through 12. If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in show, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall over me, and the light about me be night even the darkness is not dark to you the night is bright as the day for darkness is as light with you amen amen we thank god for sister trinity james with that glorious scripture you know god's wonderful word the, the, the word the very word that keeps us the, the very word that we can speak those things over our lives, that they will come to existence. And, and just being able to pro proclaim the word of God, that it will continue to just uplift us. And, and the scriptures is, is, is mighty. They is amazing within our lives. And, and we thank God for the holy word. You know, it's the holy Bible. That's what it says on the front, the holy Bible. You know, you know, the very words of God, you know, people that God used from Genesis all the way down to Revelations. God word is is, is a keeper. It, it sustains us. And, and and sometimes when we're in our lives, we have to speak the word into existence, speaking it over our lives. And sometimes we can pray 
and pray a certain scripture and that scripture don't quicken us but then a week later we pray that same scripture that scripture quicken us it, 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 god letting us know that that same scripture that we just prayed it just came to existence in our lives and we just made that scripture manifest within our walk that what the bible said in the book of songs i rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I rejoice when I speak of the word of God. I rejoice when I'm reading the word of God. We have to continue to rejoice at the word of God, the everlasting word of God. As we go forth, uh, I guess we'll do an uh, offering right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, pray somebody give us a, a uh, uh, a, a song, a solo. Yes, sir, Brother Frey. Yes, sir. I want to be more and more like Jesus. I want to be more and more like him. I want to be more and more like Jesus. Lord, I'm trying to make it in. Lord, I want to be more and more like Jesus. I want to be more and more like him. I want to be more and more like Jesus. Lord, I'm trying to make it in. Well, I may not sing like an angel. And I may not preach like Paul. One thing for sure, I've got the love of Jesus. And it's deep down in my soul. I want to be more and more like Jesus. I want to be more and more like him. I want to be more and more like Jesus. Lord, I'm trying to make it. Lord, I'm trying, Lord, I'm trying to make. Lord, I'm trying, Lord, I'm trying to make. Lord, I'm trying, Lord, I'm trying to make it in. Everyone stand. Lord, we bless you. Thank you for blessing us, oh Lord. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, for this offering. Thanking you, Heavenly Father, for this congregation, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for you, Lord, the one that we believe in, the strength, our strength, our power. We just thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the offering, O oh Lord. Thank you for the ones that gave, and thank you for the ones that desired to give. We thank you, Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, thank Jesus. Thank God for the very great offering that was given. Our tithes and our offering, you know, seeds that were sown in secret. We thank God for being able to just bless us with the benefits that we are needing within our lives, the increases. You know, as he continued to overflow within our lives, we thank God for the very increase. And, and sometimes we pray for some things and we forget that God has blessed us. I remember I used to be praying for increase when I first got my CDL, fasting and praying for increase, fasting and praying for increase, fasting and praying for increase. And sometimes as you continue to walk and, and showing God that you won't be wavered, you won't stumble, you know, we're going to have days where we are going through certain 
trials and tribulations, sickness, losing loved ones, but we have to continue to believe in the very things that we have fasted and prayed for. And I remember I used to pray for increase and increase and increase and, and just certain things that I used to pray for and fast for, and I still do. And I remember God blessed me, you know, uh, uh, with a job. And I remember they, you know, they started me out with a certain income, and I thought that w w was a good income. But the more and more as I got experience, I know the more and more that there was more opportunities out there. And I thank God for the very increases, you know, going from one job to another job. And then, you know, deciding where you want to be instead of, you know, just lis just listening to the older people, those that have retired, that stayed on a job. And, you know, just not bouncing from job to job, not looking, searching for money and money and money because you'll never be able to be found on a solid foundation. And I remember praying for increase and increase. And I remember a lady called me about a job and she was like, Mr. Herbert, we paying you know, $30 an hour, time and a half at like 42. I was like, man. And then here it is, the other guy, he was like, hey, man, I got another job offer. And I remember I was going inside Georgia Port, and I was on the scale, and God said, if you continue to chase money, I'll never be able to be standing on a solid foundation. So I turned those two jobs down, and I got something else. Because I wasn't, you know, I, I wanted more money, but at the same time, I didn't want the money to, to, to ruin me, to rule me. And I remember praying for increase and increase. So the job that I've been on now is going on six months. And, and, and God has been blessing me with the increase. When I tell you God is faithful and God is true to what he says, saints of God, to the people that are watching, God is faithful. God will rain blessings on you. You just have to stay focused and stay steady. And you have to remember, say, God, I remember I prayed for this. Whew. And God, it came true because I remember I prayed and believed. He said, I will, therefore, that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and without doubting. So as I prayed and fast. I believe I didn't have no doubt. I didn't have no hidden anger within my heart. And I thank God for the increase that he's given me within from last year up to now. And, and saints of God, as you continue to live holy, walk holy, pray fast, ask God for those very things that you need. And if you can't remember them, write them down. And I guarantee you it will come to pass. The things I pray for, God has blessed me with it, and I thank God for increase. Increase. We have to speak words over our lives that we will be able to be blessed, that we will be healed, we will be delivered, we will overcome and, 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 and overcome the very things that the enemy tries to hinder us within our walk. We thank God for the offering, and I just wanted to say that, you know, had words on my mouth. On my mind. <laughs> yes, we thank God for the, you know, this is great Bible study Sunday. We thank God for every soul that came out. We pray that a word will be said unto you that will uplift you and keep you within this week to come. And we give God the praise, glory, and honor. We thank God for the under-shepherd of this house and his absent, his wife and his family, Pastor Jonathan Farrell Sr. We thank God for him continuing to steer this ministry in the right direction. We thank God for him staying. We thank God for him staying in prayer and fasting, being able to hear God's voice, being able to take this ministry far, farther and farther. If you don't get on the train, then you can't go. If you can't get on the train, then you can't go. If the train is from going to from Savannah to Boston, if you don't get on the train, you can't go. So in order for you to be able to go within the great things that he's leading this ministry in, you have to go. Now, as we go forward, we will have this great woman of God come forth and, and give us a mighty word, a word that will keep us and uplift us, Sister Arlene Housie. Thanks to God. Praise up. Praise the name of the Lord till she get up to the front.
praise the Lord, saints, uh, the saints. I just hope that this word will edify you today and bless you and keep you for this week and keep you for this whole entire year. And as I begin to pray, as I begin to go in and um, give you some scriptures for this week so that you can hold tight to. And I was going to say a little brief prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, continue to bless this service today, oh God. God, I ask you to continue to look on our pastor and our first lady today, oh God, in their absence, and their family, oh God. I ask you to continue to look on this congregation, oh God, ones that are connected to us, oh God. We ask you right now to bless this church, oh God, to continue to put a blessing in this community. And anyone else that's watching, anyone else will want to join in, oh God. Oh God, I ask you right now, I hope this word, oh God, today will heal, help you to touch your heart, put you right back on the right track with God so that you can move into your destiny in the future. And we give God all the honor and praise, praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God, for another beautiful day that God has made. I know it's raining outside, but you still can still have church. And, you know, it doesn't matter how. You, you, you can set your own weather. Whether it's bad outside, you can still have church. And sometimes you still have church on the outside. We still can still praise God. And we just give God all the praise and honor and glory. So today, I was asked to um, speak a word on hearing God's voice. And um, what comes to mind is Deuteronomy chapter 28, if you want to go with me today. Um, Deuteronomy, uh, I'm going to go deal with scriptures 1 through 7. And um, um, Brother Antonio had already set the atmosphere, and Brother Ricky has already set the atmosphere as well by singing the song. And and um, I just loved what um, Brother Antonio spoke about being blessed. Um, I won't, I would not give you something. I want something to bless you. I want to encourage you because we need it today. Um, we sure do. And the things that are going ar on around us is that we need to think more, be more of God, we draw more of God, and make sure that we're on the right path. And as I go into these, to these verses here today, and I want to go ahead on and just iterate how to hear God's voice. And when you hear God's voice and you listen to him, it's giving him total obedience because he wants you to be obedient to his will. Hearing God's voice is so important because just to allow him to speak to you, to give you instruction to guide you on your walk with him. Sometimes we don't understand his voice. We don't understand his message, but it's sometimes to seek God for his understanding. Ask him, talk to him, because he wants you to talk to him so he can put you where you need to be. He wants, to, he wants you to be established in all things so he can give you the promise of his kingdom. The promises was given to Israel in this particular chapter. And I'm just going to deal with the first seven. In your entirety, you can go in and study the rest because Israel was going through Jordan at that time. And they wouldn't, they got off kind of off track, but in the end, they got on track. But I want to make sure that you stay on track so that you can hear God's voice because his voice is so important. So don't fail to hear his voice because it could be a message. It could be a blessing that he's trying to give to you. And God, all he want to do is bless his people. He want us to be strong and mighty in him, not to be weak and fail, because that's what the enemy want us to do. He want us not to hear God's voice. He, he wants us to turn around and follow his path. And when we get down his path, we're going to find out later on it's not the path that we need to follow. And in this particular verse today in the States, and it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of, of the Lord, thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of earth. Verse 2, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Isn't that something what God want to do? He want to overtake you. Blessings are running all over you today. If you woke up today, that's a blessing. If you're able to move, that's a blessing. If you're able to see with the two eyes you have, that's a blessing. Just to speak to your loved ones, that's a blessing today. There's so many been cut off and gone, but you are here today to help bless somebody else, to give them encouragement. As we go on, it says, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you got to listen to God. Sometimes we get kind of understanding, 
get, get a misunderstanding. Well, this, not, not, this might not be the voice of God, and this may be the voice of God. But guess what? You can also ask God. Say, God, is, is this you that's speaking to me? Is it you that want me to go down this path? But if, if we just listen and be obedient to his word, we will follow through. Verse 3, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed thou shalt be in the field. See, God blessing you in different places. The field can be on the street. The field can be on your job. The field can be in different locations. But God want to bless you so that you can be in his safety. All right, let's go to four. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of this sheep. See there? God, us all in up a blessing. We, always, we want to be in the spirit. See, I'm picking up the spirit. All the spirits. Meekness, gentleness, and so forth. God want to just bless us in our spirit. He wants us to be fruitful. You know, you don't want to eat something that's, you don't want to eat bitter fruit. You don't want to be eat fruit that's not sweet. You want to eat the goodness of God. The goodness. Let's go down to five. Blessed shall be the basket of thy store. Six, blessed shalt thou be with the comest, and the blessed shalt be thou with goest out. See, he's blessing us when we're going in and coming out. God know where we're going. Before we even think it, God even know. He already done set you up. Some right now, God is already setting you up right now as you're reading this, this scripture. He's getting ready to put you in place for your blessing. But he just wants you to hear his voice. Hear his voice. Seven, the Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with that scripture because you know why? If you stay faithful to God, he'll, he'll handle your enemies. He'll handle that. I'm going to tell you that right now. Sometimes you have been in some tested and tried places. God, I've already done set the enemy aside so you can go forward. And that's what God doing right now in 2022. He wants you to go forward. This is a new year. And I want to encourage you today, whatever you have stopped in 2021, you can go forth in 2022. Because I'm going to stay right here because what the enemy want to do, he want to stop what God, God, stop God people. He want to stop their blessings. He, he want to just take down. He, he want to destroy God's people. But today, I declare and decree, he going to make God people strong and mighty in him so they can go through what they got to go through. Amen. I'm telling y'all. It is. The enemy could be plotting on you for, for tomorrow. If you go into work tomorrow, there might be a plot or a scheme against you. But I guarantee you, God's going to let you see it so you can go around it, so you can travel through to your, your um, particular place. Seven through nine talks about that. So we got to stay strong in God. We got to be able to hear his voice because the enemy can come to you. He could be talking to you, but you got to have discernment so that you can know whether it's God. Or either it's the enemy. Because I'm telling you, he wants to devour you. 22, 22 when, I, when, I, when the new year came in, I said, God, I just feel something different about this year. And I hope you feel something different about this year, too, so that you can be able to get into your walk with God. Some of you may be praying over some things, and you didn't see things manifest. But as you look through and you stay hope to God, he will manifest you. He is a strong tower. He's a provider, deliverer, and a healer. And he will provide those finances. That's why I'm telling you, stay hope to God. If God is telling you to move in a particular location, he might uproot you. It may be some work you've got to do in that particular place. He could be a deliverer. Some people need to be delivered from addictions this year. You might be saying, Lord, I want to stop smoking this year. Lord, I want to stop drinking. I want to stop doing the things. I want to stop doing some things that holding me back from hearing your voice, doing your will. God can be your deliverer today and, and a healer. Oh, my gosh. Amen. Yes, he can. Some people got some testimonies, have not been told. But I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be some testimonies, whereas when people go into the hospital, we're dealing with COVID-19, but I guarantee you, when those people come out, and I'm declaring the cream, they're going to come out the hospital, they're going to tell the goodness of God. If you don't tell the goodness of God, I don't know what to say, because God has healed my body out of some things. God has touched me out of some things. God has touched my family, and I know he has touched your family. 
God has put me in a place where I can see things. I can be able to stand up and be able to reference. And I can tell you some things that God has done. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes, I'm telling you right now, if God is speaking to you for an example, if you're in the grocery store and God tell you to pay for somebody's grocery, it's going to be okay. Pay for it. Because guess what's the blessing behind that? If God said call somebody and pray for them, it's going to be a blessing behind that for you. If God say, if in this, just doing, doing something just kind, going to the um, nursing home and just having a word out there, going by there and t- checking on the, the elderly, God, it's a blessing out there for you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to just be in the number. And there are so many been cut off and gone. And there are so many been cut off and gone today. But I just want to continue to tell you to stay blessed in God. What makes God happy to see us happy? He wants us happy. He don't want us, his people, to be sad. He don't want us to be in pain. He wants us to be happy so he can put those blessings on you. Who don't want to be blessed today? So listen to his voice and obey his will. It does not matter what you have done in the past. And some people still holding their past. Oh, I've done this so much in the past. But I'm encouraging you today, let it go. Put it at the altar so God can deal with you, so he can give you those blessings. Sometimes we've been racking in pain for 30 years, and we're still holding on to know some things. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Because I know sometimes we get kind of weary. We, can't, we get kind of mixed up about the voice. But if you kind of, I'm just going to give you this word today. If you got a pastor like I do, sometimes you might want to talk with your pastor. There's um, always somebody in the church. And sometimes we say, well, I don't trust this person. I don't trust this person. Hey, God put people in our lives to help us along the way. You got to open your heart. See, it's no time to have that stony heart or that heart of fear. Get over the fear and start trusting. If God sent you... to a place and he's sending you to people to help you and you come out you need to do just that oh my gosh and another thing if God is right if God is dealing with you and he's talking to you about some things write them down write them down and then you can go back and say well you know God told me this God told me to start that business God told me to open that restaurant God told me to open up my ministry write those things down and go back to them. And you, while you write those things down, pray over them. You can pray because you got the power in you to um, pray and make these things come to pass and manifest. You can do just that. And I hope one through seven stays with you, especially number seven, because you know, it's a lot of times the enemy will rise up against you, but they don't have the power like God has. God got the power. He, he got the power. All you got to call on Jesus. They'll flee. Jesus. Jesus will make the, the um, pathway smooth and easy. And I want to go to another scripture today. <clears throat> I want to take you to John 5. John 5, give you a moment to get over there. And I want to take you to a beautiful place. And I just thought about people that are going through in their bodies today. If, you know, if they're going through their financial situations or you're going through some things in your life. I want to just give you some hope today because of still listening to God's voice, still obey his will, still give God that honor. If you haven't been listening to God's voice, this is a time to start listening to his voice so that he can give you what you need. Um, In John 5, this was a beautiful place, and I like to talk about it because when you see angels come down, ooh, you, it's, it's a beautiful thing because if you haven't seen angels, just imagine how angels will come down to, to a particular place and just to heal people. And I just want to just encourage um, the ones today that need an extra, extra help. In this particular um, chapter, it says, I'm going to start at verse 3. No, I'm at verse 2. Now there, w- there is a at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And when I was reading through this particular um, passage, and I was reading through, it's a beautiful place it describes. And I said, wow, I wonder if this could still happen today. And I know it can, because I know I believe God is a healer. And he's a way maker. 
In these lay a great multiple too of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. So this was a place where you had all people will come and get healed. And these angels will come down at that certain season at the pool. And they will trouble the water and you had to just get in. And when you got in the water, you were made whole. There are some people need to make, want to be whole today of this disease and the infirmities of their bodies. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity for 38 years. Imagine you had a disease for 38 years in your body. Some people won't last that long in this particular time, but 38 years, that's a long time. When Jesus saw him, he laughed and down, and he knew that he had not a long time in that case. He said unto him, with thou be made whole. He wanted to be made whole, but what happened those 38 years, people kept getting in front of him. So don't let nobody get in front of you and block your blessings. That's another thing too. People can block your blessings. Don't let things and people block your blessings today. Because I wanted to let you know, he laid there for 38 years. He kept letting people get in front of him. And if you keep letting get people get in front of you, your blessings gonna get blocked. So I'm trying to get you to be unblocked so you can be able to get your blessings. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step down before me. You see that? He told God, another man stepped before him. And they saw him probably laying there, and they didn't care. They, just, they wanted to get healed. But I'm trying to set you up so that you can be that strong person, that mind that hear God's voice, it's time. I know he wanted to lay there to be healed. But other than that, he, there's other people that was there, probably needing some other things. Jesus said unto him, rise, take up that bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on that same day, and he was the Sabbath, the Jews therefore said unto him, that was cured. So he was cured of his disease. So when the pool is stirring, you need to get in it. You need to get in it. I know I can't swim, but if I if something tells me to get, if God tells me to get in the pool, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the other end. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the other end. <laughs> I'm gonna trust God. I'm not gonna drown. I'm gonna get in it and get what I need to get. So I'm gonna let you know today. Don't let nobody get in front of you. Don't let nobody block your blessings because this is a setup. So you got to have keen eyes. Your ears got to be keen so you can hear the voice. And sometimes God will show you too. You can hear his voice, but he'll show you too. Hey, go down this road. Take this, take this, take this direction. Hey, go in this particular place. God will set it up for you. And it's not, it don't have to be on a Sunday. It could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, throughout the whole week. Be able to, to see and hear the voice of God. God is talking to us. Y'all, when I turn on the news, I can see God is speaking to his people. You can see it all around you. I don't know, but it seems like the atmosphere has changed. The seasons has changed. It's not the same anymore. We have to make note that God has given us warning that he wants us back with him. He wants us to give us that second chance. He wants us to straighten up our walk, our talk. We want to be able to take up our own bed and make sure our bed is right with God. We don't want to be weak and weary. So I hope in this week that you will be able to go back to these scriptures and go back in and read um, some more of God's word to get you ready because I do feel in the church that God is dealing with us. He want his church back. He really want us to rise up. There's, a, uh, there's something just very, very special with Mount Pisgah, and I just know that God is moving in here so heavily among his people because we don't look the same, you know? <laughs> y'all know y'all don't. Y'all don't look the same. I'm going to tell you right now, I know we, we live, but we don't look the same. I don't look the same. When, when we first got together, we started having more of Bible study. We haven't started having more prayer service. We started having more of the revivals. We started coming together more. And that made us change. That made us want to work more for God. 
And I just want to say, um, Sister Tarkish, I see a change in your family. Oh, my gosh, your kids and, and you. And it's, it's beautiful. Tiffany, I remember when you were just a toddler, and wow, how you lead the prayer service and how you sing and you pray. And Brother Antonio, you, oh, my goodness, have grown so much. Things have changed, and you're still singing your song, Brother Ricky. It's, it's just, we got new members, Sister Charlotte and, and Brother um, Wesley back there. It's, it's just a blessing just to be in a church that has love today. And that's what we need to do. And that's what's going on. Love grows us. If we keep loving each other and loving on each other, we're going to be the people that God want to be. And that's what our pastor wants us to be. He wants to be a, a church that's resilient, unmovable, and unstoppable. And I thank you today for giving me this time to give a word to you. And I hope it blessed you for the week. And I hope that you decide to get in the pool this week, even though... It may be cold outside, but you still can get in the pool. <laughs> you still can get in the pool. You can have your own imaginary pool. Get your Bible, and you can get your song going. You can get in your own pool, and God will go in there, and he'll work it out for you. And I just thank you today, and I hope everybody have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Thank God for the word of God. For Sister Arlene Hauser. Can we give her one more hand praise in the name of Jesus? We thank God for the great word and we ate good and, and, and sometimes we eat at home, we eat and we, you know, some people that can eat real, a, a lot of food they eat and give us about two hours and I'm going back for seconds. So, <laughs> I didn't say no name, so. We thank God for the very word that, you know, we just ate off of. I mean, we give God the praise for Sister Arlene Housie for uh, speaking that word of hearing God's voice and, and healing, you know, receiving of our healing and um, and being able to just speak God's word over our lives, hearing God's voice in our healing. And we give God the praise, glory, and honor for that great woman of God. And as we go further, we'll have this uh Great woman, come forth before us and uh, give us another word. And we pray God will lead and guide uh, my wife, Sister Tiffany Herbert. Praise the Lord, everybody. Before I start, I want to um, say a prayer because I don't want my flesh to get in the way of what God has to say. So if everybody could please stand. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, it's me again. God, I ask that you hide me behind the cross, oh God. God, you have given me a word of encouragement for your people, God, and I ask that you speak and speak that they may hear just what you have to say. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Um, yesterday, as I was pondering on what I had to say, I put um, uh, my prayer instrumental on, um, just ask God to give me something that you all can um, benefit off of, that it can encourage you, inspire you, in your walk, and the theme or title of this is Listen or Lack. Um, my scripture, well, my first scripture will be coming from Job 33, and it'll be beginning at verse 14. Um, it may read differently because I'll be coming from the NIV version, and I'll give you a minute to get there. Amen. Everyone has it. Amen. And it reads, for God does speak. Now one way, now another. Though no one perceives it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, 
When deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings to turn them from wrongdoing and keep them from pride, to preserve them from the pit, their lives from perishing by the sword. Amen. I'm going to go to my second scripture. It's going to be in Proverbs 8. And I'll be beginning at verse 32. I'll give everybody a minute. Amen. How many of you know when God gives you something, it first be identified to you in your Christian walk? Amen. Okay, we'll be beginning at verse 32. Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me find life and receive favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me harm themselves. All who hate me love death. Amen. Amen. In this particular season, we really need to have, we really need and have to seek God's voice. Um, we have to get to that place where there is no one else, just us and him or you and him. If God was to speak to you, would you know him? Would you really know him? He says in John 10 and 27, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. In order to follow or obey God's instruction, we have to first know his voice. How will, how will I learn his voice? What must I do? You have to seek after him, communicate with him, take the time and pray. This is the only way to know for sure who you are listening to. God is not boastful or bragging. God is not loud or aggressive. If you have knowledge of the fruits of the Spirit, you will know God's Spirit. You will know His voice. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. God speaks in many different ways. He used signs, visions, dreams. Some come to show you the way to go. Some come to warn you of what not to do, what, what route not to take. Why is it important to listen, you may ask or wonder. If you have direct insight on a path that you should go or you should not take, especially if you know it will bring or cause harm, would you accept it? Would you accept it? So my question to you is, why not listen? What are you gaining by not listening? Some may ask the downfalls of not listening or taking heed to God's voice. The downfalls could be things going wrong. Excuse me. Self-inflicted pain or hurt to yourself or others. Finding yourself by yourself. Questioning, how did I get here? The ultimate answer is you. You put yourself there. You didn't heed to his voice. You wanted to do things your own way. The benefits of listening and being obedient is knowing that there is nothing that God wouldn't do for you. He rewards those that are obedient. I really and truly believe that obedience makes you rich. It's not the things that you do, it's the obedience, the selfless act that you have. It's what makes you rich. 
I'm not talking about rich in money, rich in God's favor and his grace and mercy. To know that your obedience could eliminate your troubles or it could stop that accident that could have happened. Or even if with health wise, it, it could eliminate the thing that the doctor thought they saw the, in the first visit. It could eliminate that spot. I don't know why the Lord gave me a spot, but he talked about a spot on somebody's lung that the doctor thought they seen in the first visit. But when you went back on the second visit and they did a scan, the spot is gone. Why? Because you was obedient when he told you to call somebody and pray for them. He was obedient. Like Sister Housie said, you paid for somebody groceries in the store. You was obedient. You didn't think upon yourself. You just did it without no questioning God, without no, you didn't hesitate to do something for somebody else. Um, I come to encourage you on today to seek him. Seek after his voice. Really spend time with him, diligent time with him. Carve out the time. Um, let him make the changes within you. Don't try to get in the way of what God is doing. Even if you may not feel like praying, press to pray. Even if you may not feel like reading, read. Even if you may not feel like um, just spending that time, just even though you may want to eat while we fast and Monday through Wednesday from 6 to 6, those 12 hours, even if you have a hunger and you want to eat by 12, press your way to, to still pray and seek God all the way to 6 p.m. It's just a blessing to be able to hear God's voice, for him to be able to steer you in the route that you need to go. Um, because really in this season, in order for us to be unmovable, unbreakable, and unbothered, we're going to need that voice. We're going to need his voice to speak to us, to tell us when to go, when not to go, what to do, what not to do, what to say and what not to say. Um, I have a testimony about being able to hear God's voice um, and the fact that I disobeyed and I did not move when he told me to and regarding my last job um, in 2020 in December I began to look for another job because at that current job I was going through all kind of stuff you know when you disobey God God will put things in your path that you will have to go through a little bit of suffering I called it because at that job, they know the route that I was trying to go. They know that I loved coming to church. I had to be off. I told them I had to be off every Sunday. If you want to work me, schedule me overnight. That way I can get off early and come to church, still make it at church. And they fought me with that for a whole year, disobeying. I had a job that was going to have me working Monday through Friday, and I turned it down. Thought I was listening to the right voice. That's the thing about spending time with him. God don't speak all the time. And I learned that. God don't speak all the time. You know, the devil, he always got something to say. He always got something to say. And that's when that time and that praying and fasting and everything comes into place because you will know his voice when he speaks. Overall, you know, I disobeyed. I went through. I stayed on that job a whole year. And when God unctioned me and he spoke to me September of last year, he said, it's time. Pastor was talking about pivoting. And I remember one, su one Sunday, he was preaching and he said, Sister Tiffany, when the Lord says to pivot, Change course. You need to listen. And that's the exact thing what God told me to do. September of last year, the 22nd, I will never forget it. I turned in my two weeks at that job. I, I tell you, that was probably the best feeling. It felt like a whole weight was lifted. 
those three weeks I was out, I couldn't wait to come to church on Sunday. I couldn't wait to get on the prayer line and call. And, and I was spending time and seeking God. And I stayed out of work three and a half weeks. Stayed up late, used to stay up late, read my Bible, get on Facebook, scroll, you know, be nosy, the regular thing. But I got on Indeed, and I kind of tussled with myself because it was a city job. It was a government job. I said, man, I ain't qualified for that. I ain't going to apply for that. But God said, apply for it. He kept, every time I would go back on Indeed, I probably struggled with that thing two days. I struggled with it. God said, apply, and I'll do the rest. And I thank God because I listened, I obeyed, I applied, and that's where I work at now. <laughs> I thank God. It be the little things, the little things. If you will get out the way, if you will remove yourself and let God step in, listen to his voice, hearken to his voice, spend time with him and learn him, you will get I mean, there's nothing that he wouldn't do for you when you obey, when you will be obedient, when you be faithful to him. I mean, he, he, he'll just blow your mind. He, he really will. He will blow your mind. The things that you think that you're not worthy of, he'll show that you are worthy just by your obedience, just by your faithfulness. That's all I have. I pray that this blesses you. I do have some... Um, scriptures for those of you that like to read during the week just some scriptures other scriptures that God gave me while I was writing this if you want to write them down amen it's mark mark 1 and 35 Jeremiah 29 and 13 James 4 and 8, Matthew 6 and 33. For those of you that want to find the fruits of the Spirit, it's Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Matthew 25 and 21. Proverbs 3, 3 through 4, and the last one, James 1 and 12. For those of you that didn't get all of the scriptures, I can give them to you after service um, if you would like to read them. But I thank God for being a student of the word for, I don't know, he blesses me. Sometimes I pray out loud. Sometimes I, I find myself doing a lot of writing. I thank God for me being able to write prayers and be able to go back and see the prayers that God have answered. I encourage you all, if you haven't you know, been doing that, because sometimes we forget what we pray for. Before you know it, God been an answer. You've been unforgotten. You just, you know, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I have to write mine down so I know. <laughs> but I thank God for the opportunity for Pastor asking me um, to give the words of encouragement. I pray that it blesses you all and keep you all during the week. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank God for those two great women giving us words of encouragement. Uh, pray that you take heed to what was spoken from those clay containers that belongs unto God. I pray that you'll be uplifted this week, kept having a sound mind, sound and spirit. And we just thank God for you just coming on out and, you know, within this weather still, you know, having a hunger to hear God's word, you know, bring your, your tithes and offering into the storehouse, you know, 
and just we thank God for you know every vessel that is in here we pray God will continue to cover you bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we want to close but before we close ask anybody do they have anything to say testimony anything amen so we can stand and we'll dismiss and we uh we have brother Pinkney come uh give us a word of prayer and close us out amen Let us pray. Oh, Lord, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you on today for bringing the few here to listen to your word. And bless the ones who were unable to come, either of finances or sickness and health, whatever it is, bless them as well, too, that they get the word of God. Let us safely drive back home in this weather and protect us as we go along our way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.